Flipping over to the second page, in example number two, we're asked where does this line intersect this parabola? Now notice the line is not solved for y, like the one was in the first example. And so what we should do first now, or next, is to solve this for y. So, I would think about solving for y like this. There's a coefficient of negative y there, so I would add y to both sides. And so if you add y to both sides, then this will be just a y on the right side. So that's gone. And so what's left on the left side is just 3x plus 1. So y equals 3x plus 1. So now we have the line solved for y, and we have already the parabola equation solved for y. So we can equate negative x squared plus 5x and 3x plus 1. And again, we have a quadratic equation in only x now, so we want to rearrange, uh, get the entire equation on one side, set it equal to 0. And so if I add x squared to both sides, I have x squared on the left. Uh, 3x take away 5x would be negative 2x, and the one's already on the left. And then we would have it equal 0. Now, again, you could use the quadratic formula here, but this does factor fairly easily. To factor into two binomials, you're looking for what adds to negative 2 and multiplies to positive 1, two numbers. And of course, they're both negative 1. So this factors into x minus 1 and another x minus 1. And since both factors are the same, we could write that as x minus 1 squared equals 0. And so we set x minus 1 to 0, and we get an x value of 1. So one single solution here infers that this line only cuts through this parabola in one place. It must be tangent. And so we need to find the y coordinate that goes with this x value of 1. So I'll go back to my line again and substitute 1 in place of x. So 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 gives us a y value of 4. So that means that the intersection point should be 1, 4. Now I'm going to draw the uh, line and the parabola over here to show you what that looks like. So first of all, the line, uh, this is really in y equals mx plus b form. So 1 is the y-intercept. So there's a y-intercept at 1. The uh, 3 is the slope, remember, mx plus b. So 3 is the same as 3 over 1. So if that point is on the graph, if we go over 1 and up 3, we'll get another point. If we go over 1 and up 3, we'll get another. And we do that for a few points, then we can draw our line. So that's what y equals 3x plus 1 looks like. Now, <clears throat> to graph y equals negative x squared plus 5x, I guess I could complete the square. Probably a little simpler way to do this, though, is to uh, put this in intercept or factored form. And you can factor a negative x out of negative x squared plus 5x, and you get negative x times x minus 5. Now this is in the factored form. So remember, if we set each individual factor to 0, we will find where the x-intercepts are. If we set negative x to 0, we get 0. And so the parabola goes through the x-axis at 0, right at the origin. If we set x minus 5 to 0, we would get 5 for another intercept. So it goes through the x-axis at 0 and at 5. Remember, the negative in front here means that it's a downward opening, so the vertex is up here somewhere likely. And we can find where that vertex is because it's in factored form now. The x-coordinate should be at 2.5. So the vertex has an x-coordinate of 2.5. So to find the y-coordinate know exactly how high this is, we can substitute 2.5 in place of x here and, of course, here as well. Now, 2.5 minus 5, that's negative 2.5, in, or negative 2.5 in the bracket. So negative 2.5 times another negative 2.5 gives you a y-coordinate of 6.25. And so here's our vertex. It's at 2.5 comma 6.25. And so we'll plot that point. There's our vertex. And so we draw a parabola through that. That's the vertex that opens down through these two intercepts. And we see that there is the only point of intersection between the line and the curve. The line is tangent to the curve at 1, 4. And so to answer where do they intersect, the line intersects the parabola at the point 1, 4. One more example in the bottom. Uh, we need to uh, take our line and solve for y again. So uh, subtracting 3x and 6 from both sides, we would get y equals negative 3x minus 6 when we solve the line for y. And so I would equate x squared minus 2 and negative 3x minus 6 because again, where the line and the curve uh, cross, the y coordinates are the same. So equating x squared minus 2 and negative 3x minus 6 and rearranging, we get x squared plus 3x, negative 2 plus 
6 would be 4. So we have this quadratic equation to solve. Now, this will not factor like the examples in 1 and 2. There are no two numbers that add to 3 and multiply to positive 4. They do not exist. But perhaps there is a solution, and that's what the quadratic formula is for. When you can't factor, you can try to use the quadratic formula. So here comes the quadratic formula. And of course, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 4. And so we substitute those constants in place of a, b, and c, those values, and we get this. So again, b is 3, so 3 goes here and here. a is 1, so 1 here, and 2 times 1 in the denominator, and c is 4, so c goes, the 4 goes right here. Now, underneath the square root, we have 3 squared is 9, and this would be minus 16. 9 minus 16 is, of course, a negative value. It's negative 7. So we have a negative 7 underneath the square root. And remember, you cannot take the square root of a negative value. So that's not a member of the set of real numbers. And so that means that this line does not intersect this parabola at all. So if there's no points of intersection, that's what you would state. The line does not intersect the parabola. Now to graph these, to show you that graphically, uh, negative 6 in y equals mx plus b, that's the y-intercept. So we put a dot here at negative 6. And the slope is negative 3. Remember, that means to go down 3 and to the right 1. The denominator that is positive 1, that's why you go to the right 1. Now, I've kind of run out of room. I can't go down uh, to the right and down anymore. So you could do the opposite and go left and up 3 and do that for a couple of points. And that's what y equals negative 3x minus 6 looks like. The parabola, uh, y equals x squared minus 2, is just the regular y equals x squared parabola shifted down to, remember this is a vertical translation down to, so the vertex is not at zero, it's at uh, negative two on the y-axis. And so we draw our regular parabolic shape. If you want to plot a point on either side to draw it more accurately, you could, because I guess if you drew it too shallow, you might think it does cross the line. But uh, checking a few points, you'll find that it doesn't. So there, there is no point where the uh, line and the uh, curve share points, so there is no intersection points whatsoever. And that's the end of the lesson.